Hi guys, hi, welcome back to my channel. I am back again with another review and today we will review my Luminous uh, PM in the Omprant leather. And I got this back not, not really a long time ago, it's just a few weeks and I still enjoy it. I am completely happy with the purchase because I was not sure, I mean, I've never thought that I would get a Lumi in my life. I always, I mean, I saw it, I found it, it looks like okay, it's a nice bag, but I never thought it would be one for me. And I, I watched then tons of uh, reviews about the Luminous and I went to the shop and tried it on. So I completely felt in love and I yeah, so I mean, I'm really happy. I'm really happy that I ended up to get one for my collection, to add it to my collection. So I would say let's get started with the review. I will put the camera down. There you go. And here the bag comes in a dust bag just like that, as you can see. And here inside is the Luminous PM in empreinte leather and the color is Terre. There you go. And I choose the Terre one because it's a beautiful toad and it, it, the shape reminds me a lot on um, the Neverfull MM which I had. I sold the Neverfull uh, in Damier Ben, a Neverfull MM in Damier Ben to get this one. So there you go. I also like the Speedy I showed in my other review, the, this one is a calf leather and you see that the monogram logo is imprinted just into the leather, as you can see, just like that. And it comes also with a adjustable and detachable strap which is inside the bag. The bag has no feet on the bottom has a zipper pocket on the front, has two zipper pull on top to open the bag, just like that. Comes also with a lock and keys. The lock is attached on one of the zipper pull. Has the logo on it, just on one side Louis V. On the other side it says Louis Vuitton Paris. Every single hardware is imprinted with or embossed with Louis Vuitton. This one, the ring here to attach the strap is embossed, the zipper pull is embossed, embossed. the rings here which, ha which holds the handle it are embossed, the zipper pull here, this ring even it's embossed with Louis Vuitton, yeah, there you go. And I really like here this uh, kind of pleats here on the other side as well and you have here the handle you have here the handle to carry the bag as a shoulder bag or with the strap by crossbody it looks like this inside I just stored some air paper inside which I actually got from the store Ooh. and here the strap which was inside the bag it's from the same material it's brown and you have one, two, three, four, five. You have five adjustments, and mine is just in the middle. And here, the carabiner or the hook, as you can see, that looks like that. Just like that. So let's attach. Let's attach the adjustable strap on the rings here. There you go. So inside it's a dark brown um, canvas lining and it looks exactly the same like the can like the never fools the inside. There you go, just looks like that. The big hole. And you have you actually have only on one side you have a zipper compartment there. Behind the zipper compartment you have two pockets, one here and one here. And then there is, on the opposite side, there is a D-ring. 
there you go. On the front you have a pocket, which is actually deep enough, I would say. Let's see how deep it is. It's about 5 inch, which are 12 centimeters. And you can fit easily a mobile phone here inside or the keys. There you go. Again, show you. There you go. So let's start to fill in the bag with some things inside. I showed you. I just showed you my review on the Speed 25 bandoulier and I will put everything which, which is here inside inside the Lumi. And let's start with my with my mini iPad. And of course it fits perfectly. Then I have here my cosmetic pochette in the PM size monogram. I have my Zippy compact wallet in monogram. Then I have my agenda, and this one is the six ring agenda in the PM size in Damia Ben. I have here the mini pochette in the monogram. Let's attach this one or hook this one on the D-ring. Mm -hmm. There you go. Then I have here my mobile phone and let's put my mobile phone inside the pocket which is here on front. fits perfectly. Let's close it up. Then I have here my key and this one is the six ring key holder in Damia Ben. And I really love this piece. We we'll put this one in one of the pockets here inside. So you can see here. Then I have my card holder with some cash back cards. We'll put this one inside the other pocket, here. Then I would have my toothbrush and we'll put the toothbrush inside the zipper pocket, here. I don't know if you can tell. And then here I have a hand lotion, we'll put this one in the pocket, in the zipper pocket as well. There you go guys. Um, I have here my prescription glasses, my coin, portemonnaie rond, which I use to store my headset and mobile charger. And it looks really compact, everything is organized. We put this one inside here. Mm -hmm. Then I have uh, my umbrella. And that's it guys actually. I still would have space on top for a shawl or what else you need. And the back feels now really heavy. Yeah, it's really heavy. And yeah. We show you that at the moment since the back is still new, you will not see that it lose the shape. But as much as I would use it, this one would fall down a bit. Like, yeah, because of the heavy, it will fall down and it will get more squishy, more relaxed. But let's see. Now it looks like that and it's really heavy. And here the strap. And then you have here the D-ring. You could use this one to attach a back charm. There you go, guys. So let's show you some modeling shots. There you go guys. So you can of course carry the bag by shoulder just like that. It's a tote bag and it's 
It's almost the same size like the Neverfull MM. And you can you can dress the back up, dress it down. There you go. On the other side. And I'm about 5'3, which is 1 meter and 62 centimeters. And the color is ter. As you can see. Of course, you could use the bag also by elbow, just like that. There you go. And here is the strap to use it by shoulder. And then you see here that it it loses it loses a bit of shape, so the backs will get just like that. There you go. Or as a crossbody bag. other side there you go yeah I mean it's heavy of course I feel that it's heavy and I would probably try to not carry that much with me but in the end yeah and even if you have a coat if you have a coat um, you still are able to carry the bag as a shoulder bag. I mean, you see here, you still have enough space. Let's just measure how much is it. Let me show you something. Mm -hmm. And it's it's almost nine inch. It's all. Eight and a half inch, which are 22 centimeters. So you really have enough space. I mean, and it's a nice tote bag actually. It's and it looks classy. It's beautiful. And yes, I sold one of my Neverfull. I sold the Neverfull and Damia Ben, which which was a dog. I mean, I loved I love all Neverfulls, and of course I had all three. I mean, I had the Neverfulls in all three canvas prints, prints, and I enjoyed it. But I didn't see the point why to have tons of totes back. So I really wished the Lumi and I had to get a decision. And that's why I sold my Neverfull MM in Dami Event. And I'm really happy about that. I mean, I still have two Neverfulls with uh, Vachetta leather. The one in Monogram and the one in the Dami Azur. And then I have another tote in the Emprunt leather in the color Ter. And just a second, so I will pick one of my Neverfuls to show you um, the size comparison. Let's do that shortly. I just picked one. I don't know which one I picked. And here is it. It comes in this dust bag here. Let's see which one I picked. It's the one in Daniel Azur. And we'll show you the just size comparison and it's really it's almost the same size there you go and it's really almost the same size There you go. Let's give you some modeling shots to show you how it looks on me. So here is the Lumi and here the Naval 4. And of course this one it's way more light. I mean it's it's lighter. And the difference is that the Neverfull has no zipper closure and the Luminous, of 
course has a zipper closure. There you go guys. So I really hope that this could help you and yeah I mean I love to have both and I I really still enjoy it. So guys okay I really don't know what to tell you more about the back. I I would recommend it. Of course, it's one of the expensiest rate of the bag, which Louis Vuitton has. But for me, it's still an investment and I enjoy, enjoy it. Okay, so um, I would say we'll see how it goes um, with the heavy of the bag. I mean, I hope that I, I feel that it's heavy. But yeah, as I said, I love the bag, so I will manage it. <laughs> okay. Okay guys, so I wish you all a good evening, so see you soon on my next video and hope you have a nice day. Bye!